All right, y'all. I gotta go in. I gotta go in on this one. I gotta. I gotta read this to y'all, people. I just need y'all. I just need your attention, real quick. Can I get your attention, please? Can I get your un undivided attention? Now I'm gonna read it slow so you can hear me. All right, I'm gonna read it slow so that way you can understand. I don't want to read it fast. I want you to understand what I am explaining to you, what I am reading to you. Okay, selection. Selection of a target may be for a myriad of reasons at the local level. Now, hear me out, y'all. A myriad of reasons. It can be any reason. One must remember this technology is not available to the average person. The groups perpetrating this type of experimentation are given access to the technology as covert independent contractors of the government agencies responsible for its development. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna read that one more time. The groups to perpetrate the groups, the gang stalkers, the groups perpetrating this type of experimentation are given access to the technology as covert, covert, independent contractors of the government agencies. Okay, this research is a continuation of earlier behavioral control operations. This is a heavy operation because we're dealing with the alphabetical gang okay this is a behavior control operation which were mostly done through front companies the current experimentation is no different the groups given access to the technology are allowed to choose victims for any reason they deem necessary now that's the hold up man that now that's uh, like hold up now it says the current experimentation is no different. The groups given access to the technology are allowed to choose victims for any reasons they deem necessary. So are you trying to say that the perpetrators chose us? I don't know about that. I don't know. The agencies behind it. The agencies behind. Hold on, y'all. The agencies behind the technology are merely interested in collecting the data on its on its success failure or failures. They want to collect data on on the successes or failures. Therefore, as the data is collected at the top from each of the many perpetrator groups, the selection of the victims probably appears random. The se the selection demographics look very different at the local level now what they're not we're not telling y'all for how long i have i been telling y'all that this is a data heist therefore as the data is collected at the top from each of the many perpetrator groups that's all they're doing they're around you 24 7 all day long collecting your data and handing it over to the alphabet group this is what they do. This is why you're not allowed to be by yourself. When you're asleep, they're collecting your data. When you're woke, you're collecting your data. Go ahead and go to the park. Go ahead and go to the park. Ain't going to be nobody there, right? You see my videos. Nobody there at the park. By the time you get there, it's going to be somebody there collecting your data. While a small number of victims have come forward with convincing evidence of direct harassment from various eight government agencies, these are mostly why whistleblowers employed by the same agencies of comprise and comprise the minority. Most victims, check it out, y'all. Most victims are everyday people. Read that one more time. Most victims are everyday people not no not will smith not denzel washington no the dude that work at walmart the dude that's a security a truck driver a, p a pizza delivery guy whatever most victims are everyday people who will be considered common by most standards through interviews and questionnaires we have found 
some trends among the victim population. A large percentage of the victims are female. There's a lot of female targets out here, y'all. A lot of them are probably already dead and gone. Rest in peace to them. Most of these female victims have reported drug facilitated rape and sexual assault. This is probably not a part of the experimentation as much as a representation of the criminal nature of the perpetrator group. They just wanted to get some tail. Technology that allows the complete technology that allows for complete surveillance, stalking, and subliminal control makes sexual assault a very easy crime to accomplish. While rape has been used in the past as part of mental programming through trauma, it appears that it is seen more as a perk among the current experiment experimental perpetrators. Nevertheless, it is no less physically tra traumatic and psychologically damaging on the victim. One group of victims in Palm Springs, California, does appear to be targeted sexually. This group, this group of mostly gay men, is being all audibly harassed by the same female voice through the microwave auditory effect, as well as being victimized through drug-assisted sexual assault. Obviously, this represents a psychological hatred on the part of the group, perpetuating these crimes in that area. However, to summarize the, se the selection of the targets for in conclusion into this experimental protocol may be specific at local level with some aspect of particular traits that are sought out by the perpetrators. At the agency level where the data is ultimately comp compiled the data is ultimately compiled and it's stacking data. They just want to know everything you do for whatever reason. They're obsessed with you. Each perpetrator groups in conclusion criteria probably average out to give the target population a random appearance. Surveillance of the chosen target. That dude was trying to say, well, how y'all want to be chosen? See, see y'all, see y'all, y'all like to wear that word. I don't like that word. The chosen. You the chosen, the chosen, the chosen of God, the cho you know, you the chosen target. You like to be the chosen target? I don't want to be. You could keep that word. I don't like that word. Don't call me no chosen target. The chosen, the chosen ones. I did the video a long time, a little some years, what, about a year ago, called Chosen by the Beast. So who chose you? Being chosen ain't always good. Okay. Surveillance of the chosen target closely follows selection. The surveillance, the surveillance phase differs from the stalking phase and that during the surveillance phase, the target is unaware. Now, this is the beginning. This is before it goes crazy. It's covert at this stage. Read that again. The surveillance phase differs from the stalking phase and that during the surveillance phase, while they watching you, the target is unaware that it is occurring. So all your life, you like Truman. Truman didn't know. Truman did not know he was being, he, he didn't know everybody was a psyop. He didn't know everybody around who was frauds and fake and actors. He didn't know that. He thought it was a real town he was living in. <laughs> uh, but was he wrong? The target is unaware that this is occurring. Once selected, the target is extensively surveilled through multiple means, which include background checks, credit checks, mail tampering, email backing, and direct observation. Direct observation, both physically and electronically. And that's why you're getting the ringing in your ears, the zaps all through your body. Some of y'all losing your teeth, your hair falling out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Radiation, baby, radiation. Welcome to the old world order. Surveillance accomplishes several important goals that are integral or integral to the success of the remainder of the operation and allows the perpetrator to accurately determine the target's daily living activities. Most importantly, where they live, work, 
bank and how they spend their leisure time are quickly assessed. The people they spend the majority of their time with are identified and scaled in order of importance. Now listen to this. For instance, highly valued circumferential <laughs> targets will include the target's close family members, supervisors, physicians, clergy, and anyone else that they may spend su substantial time communicating with. This allows the perpetrators to know with reasonable certainty who the target will confide in once they are aware of their targeting. You see that, y'all? So they already know. That's the reason why you the last one know, right? And by the time when you wake up to it, you run into people talking about, man, something crazy going on, something crazy going on. You run into your friends, your families and everything. And what they do, they all gaslight you. You know why? Because they already had heads up on you. They done already been paid off or something. It's a dirty game, people. How come How come you're a T.I. and ain't nobody around you in, in your physical atmosphere? I'm not talking about online. I'm talking about around you. you know, nobody around you can relate. Most T.I.s are actually, actually, absolutely isolated. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got nobody. And one for online, you will be just by yourself. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So it says this allow the perpetrators to know with reasonable certainty who the target will confide in once they're aware of their target. They know you're going to run to such and such. They know you're going to run to your girl, your mom, your brothers and sisters. They had already paid them off. They had already told them to gaslight you. It says during this phase, the target's social status is uncertain with regard to their relationship with loved ones, neighbors, coworkers, supervisors, and others. That's right. Supervisors, your coworkers, your job, everybody. Any participation in taboo behavior such as drug use, excessive alcohol intake, domestic violence, infidelity, pornography are especially noted and followed up on very closely. So if you masturbate and they know it all. All the data collected during this phase will be used to control, mislead, defame, isolate the target. Also during these phases, the perpetrators will often have neighbors, co-workers, and relatives assisting them with the surveillance. That's right. Assisting them. They already ain't no need to run in nobody, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna read that one more time. It says, it says, uh, also during this phase, the perpetrators will often have neighbors, co-workers, and relatives assisting them with the surveillance. This is usually Accomplished by misleading those individuals. Hold on, let me turn the page into into thinking they are assisting with a legitimate law enforcement investigation. And one, that's why I was telling y'all, ain't no telling what they telling these people. You know, some these people probably thinking that they patriotic. That's why I did that video. I said these people probably think they patriotic. They really, really doing something for America for a good purpose, but they don't even know what they doing. My people shall perish from a lack of knowledge. That's what the Bible says. In one instance, the the private investigative agency perpetrating the surveillance identified themselves to a target's neighbor as an FBI agent, complete with fraudulent identification. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Look, look, look. They say complete. They say complete with fraudulent identification badges. One would. One would be very surprised at the number of people who who fall for this uh, this trick without even asking for appropriate identification or contacting the alleged agency to inquire if the surveillance is legitimate. Ignorance of the laws, both um, nationally and at the state level, regarding um, surveillance and the right to privacy. Make this a very effective ploy. The successful application of this technique of by the perpetrators will later legitimize the defamation phase and protect them from possible arrest during the stalking phase. You hear that right there? It says the successful application of this technique by the perpetrators will later legitimize 
the defamation phase and protect them from possible arrest during the stalking phase. The neighbors believing that they are assisting with an investigation by a le legitimate agency, they are more apt to believe the def the def uh, the defamation remarks they are told about the target. Oh, you you a perpetrator? I mean, you a sex molester, child molester, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? My thing is this though: your family though. Why your family doing it though? You know what I'm saying? They know who you are. You know what I'm saying? But money talks and bullshit walks. Moreover, they are less likely to call the police and report the vehicles they are parked in front of the target's home throughout the night. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to try to read one more. It's, it's, getting, it's getting a little long. Hold on. Read one more. It says stalking. It says stalking of the target is natural. Is a natural extension of the surveillance phase. The phase that these phases is different. Hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold the light. I'm trying to hold the book all at the same time. Hold on, y'all. Work with me now. All right, it says it says these phases differ and that the surveillance phase is usually unknown to the target while the stalking phase is done with full awareness of the target. In current literature, the stalking phase the stalking phase of this type of victimization is usually described as gang stalking, organized stalking, or cause stalking. Gang stalking and cause stalking are inac inaccurate descriptions and in that they imply either street gang involvement or some grandiose reasoning behind the stalking. Organized stalking is probably the most accurate descript description. Organized stalking or gang stalking reflecting the highly organized and methodological methodological plan out form of stalking that these victims experience the methods involved the methods involved and the methods involved are directly adapted from the COINTEL pro operations run by the FB you know in the 1950s and the 1960s so there you have it. I'm gonna stop it right there so there you have it people you know what I'm saying? You know, this is, uh, you know, so as, as far as that dude, you know, that dude that was, you know, talking that crap, you know, he just, he just either an op, he just, he, or he just ignorant, you know what I'm saying? Either or, either he's just working for them, you know, he been paid off or something, or he's scared, he's, you know, he don't want it to happen to him, so he want, he, he came on there and make a video so he can gaslight folk. But this is a real operation, y'all. This is a real thing. And you don't know if anybody watching this video, YouTube, if you never heard of this, YouTube can be next to be placed on this list. You best believe it. So, um, I'm not going to give y'all which book I'm reading because I don't know if I might get flagged for it. <laughs> so, but I, I might put it in the comment section. You know, and then I'll let you know there. So anyway, with that being said, y'all, I got more to come. I got another video I got to do on the whole on, on another topic. So this video, this is that's just another video. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. DB Gang Stalk Assimilation. This is where I'm going. This is where you're going to get the truth, y'all, about what's going down. Holla back. Hit the cash app up. I, I appreciate all my supporters. Um, shout out to Ty Boy. Y'all keep your heads up. We out.